Hello, we're going to talk about nucleophilic addition to unsaturated carbonyls. Unsaturated carbonyls have a double bond in the structure as well as a carbonyl, and alpha beta unsaturated are in conjugation with the carbonyl. The alpha position is labeled here as three and beta as four. When you draw a resonance structure of this, you can find that this set, carbon number two, has a positive charge, and the next resonance structure shows that carbon number four has a positive position. So there are two possible electrophilic sites on carbon two and on carbon four. A nucleophile then has the choice of possibly reacting in the two position or to the four, and we get one, two nucleophilic addition, or one four nucleophilic addition, we see the nucleophile added in position four. This is also called conjugate addition. In the next few slides, we will talk about the mechanism. So one two, is uh, similar to what you've probably already seen where the carbon with the lone pair from the Grignard or another nucleophile will attack the one two position and break the pi bond forming the tertiary alkoxide this is then protonated in an acidic workup forming the tertiary alcohol. And the alkene because it really plays no role in this mechanism. In the 1,4 position, the 1,4 addition, we have a carbon that attacks in the 1,4. This is also a carbon with a lone pair. The electrons are, gone, are moved up, forming two possible enolates. Uh, let's see here. The enolate or the resonance structure where the lone pair is on this carbon. So we have two possible resonance structures. Once the acidic workup happens, this carbon will be protonated yielding the saturated ketone and the nucleophile added in the four position. Once we have two possible reactions, competing products in a reaction, we want to know how we can control this and choose which product will be formed. So if we have a soft nucleophile, that usually means conjugated, neutral, or that cuprate that we just saw, we will get one four addition. If we have a hard nucleophile, basic, charged, organometallic, then it will tend to go one two. If there's an unhindered beta carbon, the number four position, then we're likely to get one four, but if it's sterically hindered in this position, it will be more likely to go one two. If this is not a ketone, but rather an ester in this position, that's not as electrophilic, so we might be more likely to get a 1,4 addition. And we will also see that if we add a Lewis acid, that pulls the electrons towards the positive Lewis acid, making the 1,4 position more electrophilic, and we can sometimes drive the reaction to the 1,4. So here's some possible nucleophiles. Grignard, so the phenyl is the nucleophile. This will be a 1,2. This is a hard nucleophile. Similarly, sodium boryl hydride is a hard nucleophile. But in the presence of a Lewis acid, such as nickel chloride, this can give you the 1,4 position, 1,4 addition. Cuprates, typically 1,4, softer nucleophile. Lithium aluminum hydride high, is small, hard, concentrated charge, one, two. But the resonance delocalized enolate is a softer nucleophile 
and we'll go one four. And in fact, this is called also called a Michael edition. So we'll see some emphasis on that later.